Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another vlog. So it is Monday morning and we've actually just got back home from a early morning football session. A little bit of a shorter session today as obviously the sun is rising later in the morning and we need to get off relatively early. So we got in literally just an hour today. Um, so what I'm gonna do is let you see that football session and then I'll catch in with you um, a little bit later. And guys, that was this morning's session. So as I said, it's a little bit short because um, we just don't get much time. Well, next week's gonna be better because the clocks go back, which means it gets lighter in the morning, which is ideal. But yeah, overall pretty happy with the session to be fair, considering as well, yesterday I did a leg set workout in the gym and also a six mile run at night. So I was a little bit fatigued this morning. The weekend we had a match on Saturday. Again, I started on the bench. But I did manage to come on with the score at 1-0. The game was quite tight. We managed to win 4-0. And I also picked up a goal, which I was pretty happy about as well. So, yeah, put in a good performance off the bench, and which I was pretty happy with. So, this week, obviously, just got to work hard um, to get that place in the starting 11, really. Um, so, basically, the plan for the rest of the day is I've just actually finished shopping to get some food in. Um, going to go to the gym at around half one today. Um, I've got a shoulder workout. I'm not sprinting today, obviously, because I did that long run last night and a leg workout and I did football this morning, so sprinting tomorrow. So it's just in the gym today, it's a shoulder workout. I'm doing shoulders like separately to everything else because I normally do a push pull legs, but I'm doing shoulders by themselves now because out of all my body parts, it's probably my weakest spot in my shoulders. They're quite like, I don't know, it's just not very strong and better the rest of my body. So I'm doing an individual day on shoulders just to pop them up a little bit. And then apart from that, I'm doing like shoulders, then a pull day, then I do a push day. So shoulders again with chest and triceps. And then I do legs on the weekend after my match or on a Monday, depending on how much I've played. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna study for like an hour and then I will catch you when we're about to hit the gym. And it is that time of the day, we are off to the gym. And as I said before, we're just hitting shoulders today. 
and because sprinting wouldn't make sense because my legs are really fatigued so i leave that for tomorrow and tomorrow i don't do like any weights i just do a sprint session and some plyometrics but today it's just in the gym so as it's a complete shoulder workout what i do is i pick like five exercises the first two are like quite low reps and high like weight to really work on the strength and then the other three are more hypertrophy work so it's more a little bit higher reps lower weight and um, just because it doesn't make sense to do it the other way around because by the time you get to your strength work you're already very fatigued so it makes more sense to do the um high weight low reps at the start when your body is more primed and optimal to train to 100 percent than it is to do it the other way around so yeah, I'm gonna get down to the gym now and catch you guys in a bit. So I didn't really record because I don't know why the gym was absolutely packed today. Very weird because it's normally quite empty our gym, but yeah, it was packed today, so I didn't film. I just filmed the two outside exercises which were dips and then the leg raises as well, which you would have seen. And those were I was in there for like an hour, hour and fifteen. And as I said, it was just a shoulder day because I'm trying to focus more on my shoulders to build them up to like get them up to part of the rest of my body. As, as I said, I feel like they're the one muscle part that's like lacking behind a little bit. Um, now I'm going to head home and get some lunch because I'm so hungry. Um, yeah, so I know I'm eating a lot as well because I'm burning a load of calories every single day. So I need to make sure I'm eating enough to keep myself fueled for the training and stuff. So yeah, let's go home and get some lunch. So as you'd have seen, just had lunch. So what I had was a burger and then also like a kebab stick. Very nice. Uh, it's now four o'clock. And what I thought I'd do is quickly discuss what, because it's a question I get very frequent, what are like the hardest parts about playing football abroad? So I'm gonna set up the camera somewhere and let's have a little chat about that. Playing football abroad. First thing and the obvious thing that's hard about playing abroad is the language barrier. The first season, I didn't really speak any Spanish until like towards the end of the season. And as well as me being shy, not knowing the language made it quite hard because I obviously didn't really want to talk to anyone because I was shy. And I also didn't know how to talk to anyone. So at times I sort of used it as like a bit of an excuse and it sort of worked to find a way out sometimes. But in the long run, it's not very useful. And what you'll find is the team, you're sort of separate from the team if you don't know the language including that as i said i was also shy so i wouldn't even speak much in english to the boys um even though a few of them knew it but yeah the first and uh, the obvious problem about playing abroad is that language barrier if you're going to a country that speaks a different language that you don't speak it's going to be harder to integrate with the team um on and also off the pitch because you're just not going to be able to talk to them properly so then it's going to be harder to create that bond with the team and obviously that helps you when you go on the pitch second biggest um i wouldn't say the biggest struggle but the biggest difference about playing abroad is like getting used to the different and new culture so for me i've went from england to spain and um, this took me quite a while to get used to to be fair because obviously in england you're used to having dinner at like six o'clock seven o'clock latest whereas here people don't really start having dinner until like nine o'clock uh, everything's a lot later in the day there's like people sleep in the afternoon and stuff and i just really wasn't used to it so at the start my like timings and everything were out um and yeah it took me quite a while to get used to like the culture and the way that people live here um and again it might not feel like it's gonna affect you you might think oh i can just go there and do what i always do but to be honest i have found that you have to sort of try to fit in you don't have to completely change your routine but you have to do little things to make it easier for you because if you're wanting to have dinner at seven o'clock let's say and you've got team training at nine it's not possible everything's just done a lot later here um, and that's something you just gotta fit into so the third problem 
is that there's normally a certain amount of foreigner spots you can have on the team. So if you're a winger um, and you're trying to sign for a team abroad, they've already got two wingers and they need a centre mid and another boy comes in from abroad. It's not going to be like a balanced battle because they need a midfielder and they've only got a certain amount of foreigner spots. So they're going to take the midfielder no matter how you draw on the winger because they've already got two. So that's the other thing you have to look out for is there's normally a certain amount of foreign players a team can sign. So make sure you're looking out for that and it can make it harder to play abroad because sometimes even if you're at the level, they're not going to sign you because they've used up all their foreign spots or they're keeping a few free for different positions that aren't the position you are in. So yeah, they are pretty much the three key differences for me that I found playing abroad. Obviously, they're all things you can overcome quite easily with a little bit of practice, a little bit of work and stuff. Um, but yeah, they are the three key things I think you have to really watch out for if you are going to go and play football abroad and have them in the back of your head um, when doing it. Yeah, enough of the little chit chat. I'm going to get on with the rest of my day. As I said, it's four o'clock now. I've got tutoring at half five until eight today. Um, so for the next like hour and a half, I'm going to have a shower, have a shave because I'm looking a little bit homeless, and um, then set up all my lessons. And then I'll probably catch you this evening um, once all the lessons are finished. And boys, tutoring done. So it's now eight o'clock. Um, as I said, I did had a lot of tutoring today. I had two and a half hours which is quite tiring to be fair because obviously you've got to talk quite a lot when you're tutoring and stuff so yeah now eight o'clock and um, i'm not running tonight because i obviously did six miles last night and leg workouts so my legs are still very tired um so what i am going to do is just hop upstairs and get my legs spinning on the bike for like half an hour just to really stretch them out um and then at around nine o'clock we'll be having dinner so yeah that is where i'm going to end this vlog though um obviously a little bit annoying that i didn't film the gym session today but it is what it is the last few vlogs you've been getting some good gym footage anyway um but yeah if you have enjoyed this video hit the like button as it helps the channel grow massively also subscribe if you're new around here and until next time take it easy and peace